Ciprofloxacin is a broad-spectrum antibiotic that belongs to the fluoroquinolone drug class. It is widely used to treat various bacterial infections. Ciprofloxacin is also known by the brand names Cipro, Ciproxin, Siloxin, and Cetraxel. Ciprofloxacin is indicated for the treatment of several types of bacterial infections, including urinary tract infections, respiratory tract infections, such as bronchitis and pneumonia, gastrointestinal infections, including infectious diarrhea caused by E. coli, Campylobacter, or Salmonella, skin and soft tissue infections, bone and joint infections, intra-abdominal infections, in suspected or proven anthrax for post-exposure prophylaxis, and typhoid fever. Common side effects of ciprofloxacin include gastrointestinal upset like nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Central nervous system effects such as dizziness, headache, restlessness, and confusion. Hypersensitivity reactions like rash, pruritus, and anaphylaxis in severe cases. Musculoskeletal effects such as tendinitis and tendon rupture, especially in the Achilles tendon. Rare but serious side effects include peripheral neuropathy, CNS effects like seizures, psychiatric effects, and QT prolongation, which can lead to serious heart rhythm disturbances. Ciprofloxacin works by inhibiting bacterial DNA gyrase and topoisomerase 4, enzymes essential for bacterial DNA replication, transcription, repair, and recombination. This inhibition results in the prevention of bacterial cell division and ultimately leads to cell death. The dosage of ciprofloxacin varies depending on the type and severity of the infection, as well as the patient's age and kidney function. For adults, typically, for most infections, the dosage ranges from 250 mg to 750 mg every 12 hours. For urinary tract infections, the dosage is 250 to 500 mg every 12 hours. For respiratory tract infections, the dosage is 500 to 750 mg every 12 hours. For anthrax post-exposure prophylaxis, the dosage is 500 mg every 12 hours for 60 days. The dosage for children is determined based on the child's weight and the type of infection. For severe infections, such as inhalational anthrax, the dosage is 10 to 15 mg per kilogram every 12 hours. Dosage adjustments are necessary for patients with renal impairment. Ciprofloxacin interacts with a variety of other medications and substances, including antacids and mineral supplements. Calcium, magnesium, aluminium, iron, and zinc can interfere with the absorption of ciprofloxacin, reducing its effectiveness. Ciprofloxacin can increase the anticoagulant effects of warfarin, increasing the risk of bleeding. Ciprofloxacin can increase the levels of theophyllin, leading to toxicity. Concurrent use with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can increase the risk of CNS stimulation and seizures. It may interfere with diabetes medications which may affect blood glucose levels, requiring close monitoring of blood glucose. There are some warnings to consider when using ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin may increase the risk of tendinitis and tendon rupture, especially in elderly patients and those taking corticosteroids. Ciprofloxacin may cause peripheral neuropathy and irreversible nerve damage. It may increase the risk of seizures, increased intracranial pressure, and toxic psychosis. When used in patients with myasthenia gravis, it may exacerbate muscle weakness. Use with caution in patients with a history of QT prolongation, hypokalemia, or those taking other QT prolonging drugs. Discontinue immediately if a rash or other signs of hypersensitivity occur. Use with caution in children due to potential effects on joint and cartilage development. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Stay tuned for our next video.